The center had its origins in the early 1990s. It seemed to me that our kids up here were missing opportunities that kids in more urban areas have in terms of things like museums and especially science. We called a meeting and about, to my amazement, this was back in, oh, probably 92. We called a meeting and the pioneer put it right on the front page and uh, to my amazement, about 30 or 35 people showed up. It seems to have been meant to be because there were a few things that came together at that time. This building was standing empty and they'd been trying to sell it for about five years or possibly more. And we had a couple of friends in just the right places and we were able to get the building to rent it at first and then to buy it. Um, a typical museum of our type may be funded one-third by earned income, one-third from local or more than local donations, and then a third from grant activity. And we have come close to those numbers for a lot of the time we've been in existence, which is now 15 years. Um, the mission of the Science Center is science education. We belong to an organization uh, called the Association of Science and Technology Centers, and at one of their conferences, somebody came up with a good phrase. Uh, the, the purpose of a science center is uh, to demystify science for the general public. And our mission is to offer people educational experiences uh, in a manner that uh, is uh, most convenient for them. We offer, well, we have a, an exhibit floor. We have uh, with all kinds of hands-on exhibits, all kinds of things that people can experience. So sometimes people call it experiential learning. Um, each of the exhibits we have here are uh, not something that you, know, you look at as you would look at in a museum, but in a science center, you get your hands on things and experiment with them. You find out uh, how they function. And of course, all of them have some kind of scientific principle behind them. Also, we offer lots of programs. Uh, we offer hands-on programs in which people are able to do a little experimenting with uh, the equipment and materials we make available. Uh, and we offer uh, programs that are, uh, well, demonstrations, I should say, uh, that are kind of like a science show. And uh, our staff, you know, is just practiced at, at uh, presenting things to people in a way that has got a few flashes and a few bangs sometimes, some striking things that uh, stick in the mind uh, because they're unusual. Um, but um, that involves some learning, too. Who can tell me what is body temperature? You know when you put the thermometer in your mouth? Um, the science that we do, the razzle-dazzle that we like to show, definitely has a point. Yeah. We try to put those things together um, so that it does focus their attention, but it definitely has the science behind it do a lot of audience participation, so I'll have them say some of the scientific words that we're using, expansion, contraction, do a lot of body language to get them involved so that they're seeing it, they're hearing it, they're moving around a little bit while they're learning. Glowing like liquid wood. What about a gas? What does that do? That's nice. Like, that goes all around. It, like, it's, it goes up and forth. But it's also controlled by the container. It's their hands will teach their mind better than their mind will teach their hands sometimes. So we try to let them touch the stuff. Obviously smaller than it was. And when they do that, they might take the extra special interest. And so with direct experience, that's the way to teach science. Um, I love to learn about science.